Hi everyone. So in this video, we are going to talk about ReactJS lifecycle methods in code. How we are going to write it? Okay. So here we are back with our previous example. Here we are now back with our ES6 classes. Okay. So we are using use lifecycle class. We are extending React dot component and we have basic render function. Okay. We can also write constructor. What constructor will do is we will be getting the props. This is, and we just call the constructor with the super props. And here you can initialize the state of your component. Inside that state, you can do anything like uh, show or hide. Show true. Okay, this is my initial state. Now, this is my function is render and uh, from the render I can actually write all these different methods like I'm writing on click on click method and what I'm writing is this dot handle click so I can actually just use arrow function here and I'm calling this dot handle click method and handle click it might be doing this dot set state so this is a very basic example how we actually update the state so this is my state or you can just simply put right now show equal to this dot state dot show we are just toggling it so we can just toggle this thing now this is how we are updating the state right in the very basic way right so in the react.js lifecycle hooks in here we are going to talk about the the new methods which we have added this example is very basic here we are just getting the state and we are just showing it and here we can actually print the state what we are getting this dot state dot show if this is true i mean boolean you have to convert that into the string to show something on the ui otherwise hide it okay now what else we can do this lifecycle methods exist earlier also we did we didn't do anything new here what else we can do is we start using the new set of lifecycle methods which are like new derived state from props right this particular method is called right after rendering the elements in the DOM so here if I just add this what it is doing is it is taking two it will take two argument what it is taking props and state so if you just see the definition of this okay so we have a props and we have a state what we are doing with this is it is going it will return something and what it will return the new state so here we can see the show is false so it is just overriding that state and updating it to the false here we are not doing any precondition check but you can actually access the props and you can just set whatever you are getting from the props like from props i might be getting dot show this property so i have set that props property to this state so here i am deriving the state of this local component from the props so get derived state uh, from props is method is getting called uh, before the render method so even before the render method before we actually publishing this state what is the current state it will check do we have something in the props props dot show like true or false it should not be undefined if true and false and we are just setting it here okay so get derived state from props vc example and then render method which is already a part of lifecycle method so render method is required and at this this method is returning some gsx you can do a lot of things here what if you can you can render the child component you can iterate on a particular list of array items render the gsx for it right so this is basic render method we have which we were already using then we have a component did mount component did mount is still there what it is doing is it is helping us to make some api call or do something after our render is happened so we can write set timeout I made my this 
okay here you can just do this dot set state and i will just change this flag to something else so we are just playing around with this one single state we are keep changing it timeout and this will happen after one second okay so component did mount this is actually updating the state here and whenever the update is happening in the state it will actually trigger the update lifecycle sequence okay so component did mount, mount method is called after component is rendered okay this is where you run the statement that requires the component is already placed in the dom so component is there you are able to see the github users some kind of a label on the ui now you will be fetching that from the github apis and showing that on the ui okay so this is the use of component did mount and now whenever you are updating something so this life cycle sequence is i hope now clear what we are doing with this now what we will add here is uh, a flavor of updating a state so whenever the update state is happening like this we will actually trigger this update uh, life cycle and in the update life cycle we have get derived state from props with component update render get snapshot before update and component did update so new methods for us is get derived state from props and get snapshot before update okay that i will talk in the detail in the coming video